Hello, my Scorpios. Welcome to Alchemist Tarot, serving tarot straight up. So this is your November monthly reading, which is late, so my apologies. I'm going to do a card for the overall energy of the month, actions, advice, maybe obstacles that you might face, a card for the second and third and fourth week, because we're already past the first week. My apologies. This is being filmed on November 7th, by the way. A card for money, career, and love. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, Scorpio. Well, happy birthday, Scorpios, by the way, for those of you who are born in November. And um, we are pretty much out of Mercury retrograde. We're still finding a few after, after the little bit of the aftermath, but that's normal. I think by mid next week, you're going to start to see more kind of easier, lighter energy. And I got to tell you, it's couldn't come at a better time, right? So we're getting closer to the holidays here in the U.S., celebrating Thanksgiving or a time of thanks. Um, and sometimes we just need to have that little, like, little break and lighter energy, especially especially after everything that we've been experiencing here recently. So, all right. Eight of Swords for the overall energy of this month. Scorpio, please, please do not be your own obstacle this month. Okay, the, <laughs> you're almost your worst enemy in this card. So Scorpio, please let go of things that you cannot control. If there's energy or people around you that are just trying or that are just dry humping your last nerve, remove yourself away. Okay, you do not have to engage Scorpio. You really don't. And um, I would say this month, to conserve your energy as much as possible, but please, please do not be your own worst enemy, Enemy, okay? This is not the month for it. We're almost at the end of 2020, let go, okay? Actions advice, we talked about this, five of wands, if there is this kind of drama, you know, confrontational energy around you, or if people are trying to pull you into something, don't take the bait, Scorpio. This is not the month because I feel like your temper is going to be wearing very thin. Okay? So this is a time not to react. This would just be remove yourself from those situations because it's not worth it. All right? Now, I do think for a lot of you, obstacle-wise, now, for those of you, if you are in a situation where you are depending on someone or a relationship has become codependent in any shape or form, I'd be very careful this month, Scorpio, because that person might try to hang it over your head. So this would be a recommendation that to get out of that type of, you know, whether it's a love relationship or a family friend, but I feel like this is kind of becoming more of a codependent or the person is trying to hold things over your head because you asked for help or you know whatever the case is. Be very careful of that energy, Scorpio, okay? Next week, I think for a lot of you, you're starting to see that you, you know, the Hierophant is about tradition. It's about, you know, going with the flow. You know, it's it's very much the status quo. And I feel like you're starting to realize that if you want to, especially if you are willing to play the political game. And I don't mean politics, I mean like work politics. I feel like a lot of you are starting to know who the players on the board are and how to maneuver. <laughs> it's almost like a game of chess for you, Scorpio. You're seeing who you need to bend and to get things to your favor. And I don't necessarily think that's... I think you're playing it smart. I don't see you necessarily being manipulative. I do feel like you're being very... Um, strategic and I think you're very w aware of the office politics being played okay and you are not going to be you're going to come out not only as a victor but you're playing it very smart okay I, I think that I they're saying other things but I feel like I'm not going to ar articulate it very well so I'm just going to leave it at that the world card in the third the third week. This is things coming full circle for you. So, you know, maybe there was a situation at work where you played your cards right, whether they were trying to fly under the radar or take credit for your work, or, you know, it could be where you have been overlooked and people have been taking credit for what you've been doing. 
Um, but at the end of the day, things are coming full circle. So the rubber has hit the road and those people have been found out. So Scorpio, like I said, you're playing your cards very, very strategically and very well this month, especially if it's at work. Um, you just know how to you have the you have the ability to get people on your side this month a lot easier. Last week of the month, you got justice cards, so things are definitely balancing out, and um, they're balancing out because if this has anything to do with court or attorneys or contracts, anything that has legal documents, it's really going to go in your favor this month. So you know, looks really strong, looks really good. But what I would tell you is that. This entire month is about how you hold yourself in tough situations. So it's about how you respond, not how you react. So people are going to remember how what triggered you, not, I'm sorry, people are going to remember how you reacted, not what triggered you. So Scorpios, if your temper is wearing very lean this month and you're going to, if you're getting to that point, walk away because it could hurt you in the end. Okay? Play your cards right, Scorpio. Money, Page of Swords. This is about you researching. This is you starting something. But it could be where you are taking small steps to learn a new skill. Maybe you are trying to um, understand better ways to invest or you're looking into what stocks might be the better option for you. You might be trying to figure out how to um, build your financial empire and, and also do your own research. I think you're tapping into other people, but you're starting to do your own research to become an expert yourself. Career. Okay, here's your warning, Scorpio, and it really is. The Seven of Swords, you've been forewarned. There is some sneaky behavior at work. There are people who are going to be dishonest and might put your name through the mud. That's why I'm telling you, do not be your own worst enemy because if you unleash your fury, people are only going to remember that, not what so-and-so did to trigger you, okay? So at work, be careful and play your cards right, Scorpio, because there are some people who are not the most honest and they're going to try to do anything and everything to get on top. And that includes stepping on our little scorpion, which, by the way, is never a good idea. Love for a lot of you, will of fortune. So for a lot of you in whether you're in relationships or you're single, I think Energy starting to move forward. If you've been single for a while, you might be at a point where you're like, well, okay, I'm, I'm interested. I could be dating somebody or I might be open to date someone. Also, I think you've, you've definitely healed a lot of your heart or past heartbreaks or, you know, whether it was third party or it just wasn't the right time for you. I think you're starting to realize that maybe you're in a better place now and, you know, the energy can start to move forward in that direction that you'd be open to date. Um, if you're in a relationship, I think this is a relationship that has stood the test of time and things are starting to move forward. Now, for some couples in 2020, it's been make or break for sure. Either you've been staying together and it's gotten stronger or you guys have, you know, um, moved apart and it's the best thing for you as individuals. But either way, things are starting to move forward in the right direction and you're on the right path. Scorpio, always love my Scorpios. I'm an Aquarius. Scorpios and Aquarius usually get along really, really well. My best friend's a Scorpio and his birthday was in November. So, you know, love a November Scorpio. If you guys would please subscribe and also follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I do cards and readings and go live there often. And if you are interested in purchasing a reading, please go to my website. All the details are in my bio. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next month.